What's good? We're New Rules and we're going to tell you how we got our song Emily to loads of famous Emilys. First of all, we want to say a massive thank you to you guys, the mad for helping us do it. Without you, we definitely couldn't have got our song to Emily. We had so much fun doing these challenges, so this is a video that's going to show you how we went about doing it. Let's go. Enjoy! Okay, so since Emily was released when we were all in lockdown, I was actually at home in Dublin at the time, living with my family. And we said, because Dublin's the best city in the world, why not start hashtag get this to Emily? There, I got in the car, went into the city center and I got a picture with them. I got a video and that was when we started teasing it online. So you said we should get the song to Emily Atak. She came back and she absolutely loved it. She said she was flattered and she loved the song and she shared the sh out of it, which was amazing. So when Emily Atak responded, we knew we would have to up our game, but we'd already blown most of our budget on these incredible billboards. Alex, stop it, what are you doing? As you know, we're incredible at using Photoshop. So we thought it would only be right to put our photoshopping skills to good use and pretend that a plane had flown over London with the Emily lyrics on the back. So we did this really, really good video where we all went outside and faked looking up at the sky and going, oh, look at that. And it took a bit of time because we were really bad at it. Is it coming? Oh my God, there it is. Look. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. Woo! Hang on, I'm, I'm filming. Is that it? Let's have a look. No, that was the right one. Oh my God, that's it. <laughs> Oh my God. You and me forever, Emily. Emily can't miss this. And then the hard part, putting the plane in afterwards and making it look kind of real. Oh my God, that's it. Oh! Shit. That's crazy. Oh my God. You and me forever, Emily. Emily can't miss this. Once we posted the video, you guys worked your magic again and you guys got it to Emily Cannon in record time. She saw it really quickly and tweeted about it, which is absolutely incredible. And then her boyfriend, James Bourne from Busted, I think got a little bit irritated that we've written his girlfriend a song and, um, and we tweeted about it. Anyway, long story short, James Bourne from Busted No Hexes. So the playing stunt miraculously worked very well and we were thinking what else can we do that is a stunt that will get Emily's attention. The Emily in this case was Emily Sears and we figured Ryan should get a tattoo. So we went down to the local parlour, made it look as though he just walked in to get this tattoo. Al, I can see you. Oi, oi, go on then, show us. <laughs> What do you reckon? Look at that! <laughs> and then he got one of the sticky ones, slapped it on his arm. We, we did have to buy six in case we messed it up six times because we are ultimately idiots. So then with all of your guys' help, of course, we managed to get it in front of Emily Sears, which she did not receive too well. And yeah, we're not going to dwell on that. So adding to the list of people that hate new rules, we've got James Bourne and Emily Sears. Right, so we decided to get a bit more wholesome with the next one. What's more wholesome than baking a cake? Not much, not much. What we did was we went out, we bought some cake mix, Strapped on the Mickey Mouse apron as you do, and we got baked. Actually, do you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm lying. I did not bake the cake whatsoever. Alec baked the cake. He did a really good job. He kind of only put the effort into the icing because that's the, the only bit anyone saw. But I tasted it. It was very nice. You guys went absolutely crazy on Instagram and Twitter again. And Emily Skinner this time, and she came back and she said, "Oh my God, I can't believe these guys wrote this song about me and baked the cake for me and all." Absolute legend. We stand Emily Skinner in this household. <laughs> So we really had to up our game for this next one. So we got our friends at Shepherd's Bridge Empire, where we're playing in May on our headline tour, to help us out and put up our lyrics outside the venue. So yeah, I mean, we absolutely loved it. Uh, not sure the locals did, but it did work. And Emily Osmond saw the post that we did about it on Twitter. And um, she did question whether we were of age. Um, which I get, you know, we've got baby faces and stuff, but it worked. So guys, thank you again, absolute legends. Um, what's next? So we had a 100% success rate so far with all the Emilys and we decided the next best one would be Emily Ratajkowski because she's mad famous. Funny story actually, uh, do you mind? Sorry. Funny story, our videographer and photographer Nick, he kept saying he was staying with us while we were doing this and he was like, oh yeah, I know. And we were just like, nah, f Just obviously, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, he's, he's actually like, yes, I, I really do know her, proves it and everything. We're obviously crying with laughter. Um, and instead, we thought we would throw a little Emily party. I'm actually on the scene of the crime right now. Here's, here's the crime scene. Are you still going? Are you still going, baby? With these deflated ass balloons. Love. You guys really stepped it up with this one. We all had a big dance and a fun time. Look, there's a nice picture of us. On, on this party, we, um, we played the song over and over again, hoping that Emily would join and see it, which she did not because she's very famous, like I said. Regardless, we had an amazing time. Maybe she'll see it one day. Who knows? We cannot thank you guys enough for helping us get our song out there and doing it in such a fun way. Adios! Adios.